Hi everyone, welcome to Get Ready With Me, Louise. I was excited today. Now I'm not because it breaks my heart, y'all. But let's get started and, and you'll know what I'm talking about, I'm sure. I'm a big fan of Pat McGrath, y'all know this. I own every single palette except for the Star Wars collection. But technically I got that because it came in a Christmas thing, so... Technically, I own it, but um, I bought her newest too. I know, right there. You should call me a fool, right? Well, I've already called myself a fool a thousand times in doing this, so that's nothing new. But let's go. Let's just get started. So, what's on my face for foundation? I'm wearing the Lancome Care and Glow. I'm wearing the Pat McGrath concealer. I set the T-zone and under eyes and all that with the Pat McGrath under eye setting powder, the white one. I use the Natasha Denona uh, powder foundation to set the rest. <sighs> I'm losing it. Okay, then for bronzer, we're going with Pat McGrath, basically. Uh, I use Nude Honey. Love her bronzer. I mean... I own three of them, Nude Honey, Dusk Dawn, or Dawn Dusk, and Desert Glow, I think, but you can definitely see, like, there's an indention in this, like, I use her bronzers, love them, blush, I own all of her blushes, the two pans and the single ones, today we went with Love Struck, for some reason I thought it would go with this look, not really, but here we are love the blushes again can't won't you know everything's great with them highlighter same way this one is lunar allure again love it beautiful works great that's what's on my cheek now for lipstick i actually pulled out this one it's fever dream look at this look mm, sorry look at this little guy any cute adorable for nail polish, I'm wearing Cirque Colors, I think is the name of it, and Black Swan. Not my favorite color. But, now, with all that said, I have bought both palettes. Today, we will be playing with the Opalescent Orchid, which looked to be, like, a different kind of palette from her usual what she's been usually releasing I thought it'd be the most exciting it's cardboard packaging instead of her black packaging which is fine because it is that is beautiful it is beautiful so it doesn't feel very luxe though and you open it up and here's the four shadows You basically have like three metallic shades and one satin shade is where I'm is what I'm thinking. This is what it looks like on the hand. This one here is that white. It's like a white that turns flips pink it basically. And then the purple. And then the uh like the green teal color. And then the satin shade i didn't swatch it in order well kind of but not really um yeah it's not so exciting on my hand to be fair and the eye look not so exciting to be fair the only color that is like wow is this purple don't get me wrong i like this color too but it's not really a wow factor and to be fair, I think it's in my Christmas palette. Like, not the exact, maybe, but so close. So, there's that. I'm kind of being distracted by this lipstick, to be fair. I didn't know it was going to be red. But, here we are. I should have, but I didn't. But it's not bad. And I ain't even wearing a lip liner with it, which is throwing me off. Uh, I did get a free uh, lip gloss with this, the clear vinyl gloss. I had it on prior to putting that lipstick on, so that's probably why it feels the lipstick because it's a matte uh, trans lipstick. And um, 
but I put it on top of the, not necessarily, like the gloss had absorbed into my lips, and I put that on top of it, though. So my lips were nicely moisturized, so it went on nicely. I mean, it's not bad for a red, but I wasn't expecting a red for today, so. But here we are. But let's get started on this palette, because I'm just not in love with it. I'm not. I'm sorry. I hate that. And trust me, I want it to be because it's been so long since I've had a Pat McGrath palette that overwhelmed me. I'm not saying I didn't like her Christmas collection or even her Valentine's Day collection, but it wasn't overwhelming, you know? It wasn't like, oh my gosh, you got to go get this. And I thought just maybe this was going to be that, you know? This was going to be the, oh yeah, you're going to want this one. And I really thought this one might even sell out, but people knew. I think people knew where I'm a fool, they weren't. And they knew that it's just pretty pictures, pretty colors. And to be fair, like, the look's fine, but it's nothing, like, revolutionary. And in... Again, I'm not a makeup artist, so colors and theories. Maybe I shouldn't have used all four shades together. We're going to take that same pink and run it under the lower lash line. I Maybe I shouldn't have taken all four shades together to create the look, but I wanted to show you each color. And because I just don't see the, like it's a pretty look, but it's not like outstanding beautiful look. You know what I mean? I don't know. It's just not what... I thought it was going to be, I guess, and I've been wanting so much to love her shadows again, you know, the brand itself, and I'm just, the quality's good, like, all that stuff's fine, so I really don't know what my dilemma is with it, other than it's like, I kind of, uh, where I have such an extensive collection of her product. It's like I already have these colors. We're going to go into this purple. And I'm going to pat it on this. Trying to build it basically. The best that I can. Now using your finger you're definitely going to get more payoff as you can see on my hand versus the brush that's a given and don't get me wrong looking at this on the lid even with the brush this could be like a one and done in a way well maybe not a one and done but like this on the lid with your bronzer I could see looking really beautiful because it is just so like iridescent and when the light hits it it's just angelic almost I do think it's a good spring powder, and like I said, possibly if I didn't use these colors all together, it would have been better, you know what I mean? I could see this being a pretty spring palette with a bronzer and then a lid shade. Pick one, you know, pick a color type of situation, instead of combining this whole palette into a look. We're going to take this aqua shade now. And put it on the lid. And they do have pigment. And like I said, the shades by themselves are beautiful. But, but, if you have a lot of Hirsch palettes, you got these. We're going to take this last shade and run it in the inner corner here. I use my Tarte Fake Awaken the Cream. And I did purchase both palettes, just so you know. So I'll do a look tomorrow using the other one. I wanted to get this one up first because I did feel like most people were interested in this one. Because it looks like it's different, but it's not. It's disguised to be different, but it's not. I don't know. 
We're going to use the Pat McGrath um, Dark Star Mascara in black. thought about pulling out the pink one and using the pink mascara. I really did. Like, don't get me wrong. Like I said, the look is pretty. But we're not talking about a cheap palette here, you know? And you don't need repeats. So if you have, like I said, a lot of her palettes, you do not need this palette. And I think for $65, I'm pretty sure is what it was. It could have been $69 for all I know. And I mean, you could wait for a sale, but again, I just don't think you're going to be missing anything. And again, maybe I'm looking at this wrong. You know, maybe it is supposed to be like you use your bronzer and choose a lid shade. In which case, okay. But it still isn't nothing new. And I think that's where it gets me because I really was hoping this was something new. And I don't think any of these are her special shades either in this palette. Like, I personally, again, I'm a fan. So, for my own collection, like, just to collect, I'm glad I have it for that purpose, but if I was just, like, shopping and seeing it and thought, this is going to be different, this is great, I would have been disappointed. I really would have been. But, because of the, you know, I want to tell you about this, I'm glad I have it. I'm glad it was me that was the fool. So you don't have to be. I'm using the Lancome for the lower lashes. And if you don't own any of her palettes. And you're okay with the idea of, you know, a bronzer. And using a one, one shade for the lid or something. Then, oh shoot, maybe. You know I was going to make a mess with the mascara. I'm talking bad about Pat McGrath. How dare I? I'm sure I'm going to have bad luck all day for this one. Um, it breaks my heart. Because I keep rooting. I really do. Like, her and Natasha Denona are my two favorite brands of all time. I mean, not of all time. But they're, they're two of my favorites. Like, I root for them. And I'm having a hard time. It's kind of like Too Faced there. I mean, they did make a comeback with that apple palette at least. But. Oh, that's great. I really have made a mess. See? I'm my bad luck all day. Watch and see. How did I get that separated now? There. I'm trying to keep the lower lash line like not too much mascara. There we go. Got it. But enough. I'll have to wait for that till it dries to scrape it off. I don't know. I would say it's a pretty look. I could have gotten this. Yes, I would have had to maybe have used different palettes to create the look. But... It's a no. It's a no. I, I would ha I, unless you have nothing. I, I I wouldn't. And even then, man, she's got some four pan palettes. Like I could do, see every day. And I kind of think this one might be an okay palette for someone that's just trying it, trying the brand, maybe. And like maybe that's what this is. And I'm not, you know, seeing the bigger picture. Maybe this is like a taste tester type of thing for people. Like, try my formula and see if you like it. And then maybe you buy another palette. But her bigger palettes have got, well, some of them have special shades. I don't know. I don't know who that's for. 
it's not for me because I have those colors in other palettes for sure like I know I do so I know those weren't I don't feel like they were created for her fans her stands her ride and dies like that's not who I think that's for I just don't maybe I'm wrong maybe I'm not seeing the bigger picture I don't know I'm not saying they're not pretty. They are. I'm not saying the look's not pretty. I'm just saying that... I wouldn't get it. That's just what I'm saying. It breaks my heart. But what I would get is a bronzer or a blush or a highlight. Those are good. Um, her Mothership palettes. Pick one. Those are great. Like, that's the route I would go if, if I was suggesting something from Pat McGrath, to be fair. Um, her under eye setting powder is wonderful. Chef's kiss. Her lipsticks are nice. Go for that. Lip liners, amazing. So there are amazing things within her line. This just wasn't it. This wasn't it. But let me know your thoughts down below. I'm curious, did you pick any of this up? Or... Did it give you the thrills that you were looking for when you first opened it? Because, like, I was excited when I got it. I was like, yes, 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 yes. And I opened it, and I looked, and I was still excited. And then I swatched. And then I created the book. And then I sat there going, well, who is this for? Did I do something wrong? And maybe I did. Maybe I did. So this is just a first impressions. First time I'm playing with this palette. So let that be known. The formula is nice let that be known the packaging is pretty not luxe or sophisticated or anything like that so take that information and do with what you will I'm glad I got it but I don't think that you're technically missing anything if you don't get it just saying however if you want to get it get it let me know your thoughts on it let me know how you would wear it even. Maybe I'm wearing it wrong. There's that. But that's all I have for you today. I'm so sad. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, ring the bell, hit all. That way you're notified when I upload all. I upload every day but Sunday unless there's new launch. There will be an upload this Sunday because I'll be doing the other palette. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of sad. I will let you go, and I will see you in the next one. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy. Bye.